All right, come on in, everybody. Make us some breakout rooms. Tempo, what you doing? You know, no walking on the keyboard. Okay, um, I, I uh, got even more efficient and just labeled the, uh, the rooms by the first four letters in the, in the name of the event. Um, let's see, yeah, I, I set it up to assign you guys to rooms. All right, so let me get an idea of who's here. We have 14, 13 people and two cats um all right i'm gonna go from the bottom up this time hmm um okay what um I'm trying to figure out how I can do this uh, most efficiently to to get the um, to get the events covered that we need to get covered. Um, oh, I know what I can do. Hold on a sec. All right, that's good. But I need this. Okay. All right, so those are fine. All right. Um, well, let me ask you guys. So, Sean and Natchiket and um, sorry, where am I going? Okay. Sean, Natchiket, and Andrew, um, what do you think, what what needs more work, road scholar or water quality? Probably um, road scholar. I mean, yeah, I, I'm not doing road scholar. I'm water quality and, and uh, crime busters, and I think I need to do crime busters more. Yeah, and I need to do uh, road scholar, I think, a bit more. Sorry, I had my volume down. Could you say that again? Um, I only have water quality, so I'll either do water quality, but like if I could do crime busters, that'd probably be the best. Crime busters, okay. All right, yeah, all right. Um, let's see, yeah, okay. Does that work for you, Gianni? 
I'm sorry, my internet is going really in and out. I haven't, can't really hear you very clearly. Did you say my name? Yes. Um, yeah, can I put you in uh, Crime Busters? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. All right, so we'll do Johnny into Crime Busters and Andrew into Crime Busters. Okay. So that leaves Road Scholar for Sean and Natchiket. Does, uh, well, wait a minute though. We also have machines for Sean and Rahul. Um, what do you think there, guys? Uh, Sean, which would you say needs needs um, some attention, Road Scholar or machines? Uh, probably Road Scholar. Okay. Um, that would mean, let's see, Rahul, your other disease detectives, Rahul and Alan. Okay. Um, Yeah, okay. All right, we'll do that. There you go. Okay, got that one. Now, um, what's next? Julia and Iris on ornithology. Okay. Are you, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, that doesn't help. There we go. Not here, Iris is here, okay. Um, Come here, you. I just gotta walk all over my computers when I'm trying to do this. Uh, I just realized that I have a question. Oh yeah, Sid, go ahead. So for the HUSO test, we were allowed to have double the notes that it says in the rules because each person could have that many notes. Yep. Will that keep happening for the know. state test? As far as I know, it will. Yeah. Okay. But, um, but I'm glad you asked because uh, there's an informational session um, this Friday for the Rhode Island State Competition. And um, I'm gonna write myself a note to ask that very question. But I don't, I don't see any reason why they would change it. I mean, it, you know, the Silympiad is the, um, is the sort of overarching uh, organization that's putting this on. So I think their rules are gonna stay, you know, as is. Um, but it's a good question. I'll, I'll check on it. So, for ask at session um, to get notes. Okay. Um, all right. Now back to the impossible task of assigning people uh, <laughs> to breakout rooms. Let's see. Um, Troy, you are doing heredity and what else, Troy? Circuit lab. Uh, circuit lab. Okay. All right. Um, have you guys met about heredity very much? I mean, I've done both about an equal amount, to be honest. Yeah. Okay. Um, Let's see, Remy. Okay, we well, partner in uh, Circuit Labs. Not here. So, is your partner in um, your partner in Heredity, Neil? Nope, not here either. Okay. All right. Well, um, uh, of the two, okay. I'll, I'll, I'm going to go ahead and, and put you in um, Heredity. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, now what else do we have? Um, Sid, dynamic planet and um, reach for the stars, Sid and Iris, okay. And Iris, what's your other event? Ornithology, right? 
Okay, yeah. Uh, so your partner in ornithology is not here, so I'll put you guys into um, Reach for the Stars, all right? Okay. Um, okay, Rahul, I know I, I uh, already assigned Sean to Road Scholar. Um, and let's see. Disease detectors. Alan's not here today, um, but he said he'll be here tomorrow. So how about if I put you in machines uh, for now and I'll come in and talk to you there, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, Noah, um, we've got Density Lab. Your partner's not here for that. And should have these memorized. What's your other event, Noah? Food science. Food science. Okay, good. Um, Emma. Aha. Can I put you guys in food science, Emma and Noah? Sure. Okay, very good. That worked. Okay, and then Athena, um, Ben, and Sophia. So, Athena, you have three to choose from anatomy. Uh, um, your partner's not here. Game on, your partner's not here, and meteorology, your partner's not here. So you have your choice of those three. Which would you like to go, go into? I'm fine with any of them. <laughs> All right. I'll put you in anatomy, OK? All right. All right. All right. And then Ben and Sophia, um, you guys get to choose where you want to go. I'll go to ornithology. OK. Um, ben? Ben, do you have a preference? Uh, can I go to anatomy and physiology? Sure. You can uh, maybe talk with Athena. Hmm. There. Okay. All right. All set. Noah, did you get the invitation for the food science breakout room? Yes, you did. Okay.
You can't just eat random things. You don't know what they are. You know, one of these days I'm going to be taking you to the vet because you ate something. <laughs> That's what you want to eat? No. I said, no. All right. Uh, I got to go talk to some people. Okay, I should have put a thing in there. Um, that one go. Science fossils came on. Hey, Raul. How goes? Hello. Going okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Um, I forget, last time, did you uh, meet with Sean about machines? Last time I was with Alan. Oh, okay. So you guys were talking about uh, disease detectives. Yeah. Disease, yeah. Okay. All right. Good. Um, um, okay. Let me see. I'm taking a look at the the scores from uh, Harvard Invitational. No, I don't do that. Um, freeze. Yeah, all about the same. So the performance, I was looking at uh, the scores, you know, for the different events and um, they're all about in the same general uh, score range for um, Road Scholar Meteorology or Road Scholar uh, Machines and, and um, Disease Detectives. Yeah. 
42, 42, and 45. So yeah, I don't know that there's a strong preference for working on one over another, but um, what, which of your two events do you feel most prepared for at this point? I would say simple machines. Uh-huh, okay. All right, um, so you, you feel like uh, uh, disease detectives needs, needs more work? Yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, okay. All right, well, Alan um, will definitely be here tomorrow. Um, will you be able to make it tomorrow? I think so, yeah. Okay, all right. Um, hopefully you can, and then I'll, I'll put you and, and Alan into uh, Disease Detectives breakout room. Okay. Um, right, and I also need to check on, uh, on having either Sean's father or um, Professor Gaduru uh, come and and uh, check, in, check in on you guys about uh, machines as well. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, very good. Um, so what are you working on right now? Right now I'm doing machines. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I mean, uh, in terms of like, what exactly are you um, doing? A, can I find my screen? Right now I'm updating my notes for machines. Okay. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm having a, I'm not old enough yet to have senior moments, but I'm having one. That's okay. okay. There we go, I got it. Um, for some reason, my alt tab didn't, didn't show the Zoom window, but I found it on the taskbar. Anyway, um, okay, well, uh, yeah, keep up the good work. And um, uh, you got anything on your mind right now you want to talk about, or are you good, good for now? I'd say I'm good for now. Okay, sounds good, sir. I'll catch Thank you. you. Yep. All right, now I need to go talk to Troy. There we go. Hey, Troy, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, heredity. How much have uh, you and Neil been able to uh, connect on, on this topic? Uh, I mean, we usually just do most of the connecting during the meetings, so. Yeah. So have you been able to do that recently? Well, not today, but we did <laughs> it last week. You did last week. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's good. It's hard for me to keep track of what, I mean, I suppose I could write it down or go back and look at the recordings, but, um, but uh, that, that'd be pretty time consuming. Um, okay. So, but you have, uh, you have worked together on it to, to get prepared. Um, I'm looking at the scores from the Harvard Invitational uh, for Heredity and your other event, um, Circuit Lab, and they're pretty close. They're within two points of each other. So I wouldn't say there's a strong preference for one or the other, but um, which of the two do you feel more prepared for right now? I guess Circuit Lab because it's mostly just notes. Uh-huh. Okay. When, uh, is there a lab portion to that when it's in person, Circuit Lab? Well, it wasn't in person last, like the, in the, I don't even know, like the February competition or January competition or something. Yeah. But yeah, it wasn't in person, but like when it is in person, there is a lab portion. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there is a lab portion. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so then how did you feel like they compensated for that in the in the Harvard Invitational, like not having the lab portion? Did they um, did they have a section of the test that would that sort of simulated a lab and then ask questions about it, or was there just you know more more questions? I think it was just more questions. I don't really remember any question that like stuck out as something I would have done in the lab if it was in person. You're right. Okay. All right. Um, have you gone and 
download the downloaded the test and answer key uh, for your two events from the uh, the shared folder that I put on our drive. Um, I think so. I can check again. Let me see if I can access it. Okay. So. Um, so just like shared with my own school account. Um, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember what it's called right now, but I'm gonna share my screen so that you can, um, so you can see it. Yeah, I just have a lot of stuff shared with me because that's kind of like how I do class work. So oh, I yeah. can't, I can't really find it, but. Okay. Um, let me, okay, so it's in, it's called, the, it's called, here we go, 2021 HUSO BSO Division B exams and keys. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I, I have those. Okay, all right, that's good. Um, yeah, so, you know, there you can obviously check through um, the Harvard Invitational and see, uh, you know, see what areas were, um, you know, hardest for you to uh, to answer or address. But um, yeah, it's interesting. I, I mean, it's quite a challenge, you know, to try and do this entirely uh, remotely rather than having people in person. But I just wondered if there was a way that they sort of compensated for the lack of lab, but it sounds like not. <laughs> so such is life. But um, Anyway, all right. So uh, you said you felt more prepared for um, for the circuit lab. Well, yeah, but not honestly, not by much. I mean, uh -huh. like you said, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Okay. Um, or is it how, how is it working with your uh, partners on these two events? Are they, is it pretty easy or kind of hard to get in touch with anybody? No, it's pretty easy. We have each other's phone numbers and stuff. Yeah. Cool. All righty then. Um, sounds good. So, uh, what are you working on right now with, with uh, Heredity, or are you working on Circuit Lab? <laughs> I'm just looking over some other uh, like practices from the I think it's Siley website. Right, the soink.org. So yeah, yeah, that one. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. That sounds good. Uh, keep up the good work. And uh, will will you be able to make it tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So hopefully, um, hopefully your partner in, in one or the other event will show up and, and uh, I can get you guys together. All right. Okay. So uh, do you have any questions or anything right now? No. Good to go. Okay. All right, then. Um, I'll get everybody together before the meeting ends. Um, so okay. in a couple minutes. Hi, Athena and Ben. How's it going? Going well. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, good. <laughs> um, Athena, uh, let's see. Anatomy went. Uh, I was looking at the results from um, from the Invitational. Anatomy went pretty well. Um, meteorology was a little tougher, and. Um, Game on, okay, yeah. So game on and anatomy went 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 uh, reasonably well. Um, and you have a new partner now in meteorology, right? Yes. That's Julia, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so have you been able to connect with her? Um, yes, we talked about what we needed to put in and went over the notes of it. Okay, all right. Um, have you guys gone over the uh, practice test and, and answer key, or the sorry, the blank test and answer key from uh, Harvard Invitational? We didn't do it together because we already did it separately. Mm. So we thought that it was fine. Okay, yeah, that, that's no problem there. All right. Um, well, keep in mind that if you run into anything in meteorology, like if you're going over that that old that test from the Harvard Invitational. Um, 
don't hesitate to ask me about it because it's one of my one of my areas of, of knowledge. Okay. Um, your other two events, anatomy and uh, uh, game on, not so much, but <laughs> but I can certainly try. Um, but anything you encounter in meteorology should be something I, I can help with. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Ben, um, is this one of the, the topics you're interested in? Uh, slightly, so very slightly. Uh, it's, also, it's, also at the, it's also the first event. Yeah. So that's another reason why. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Going through all of them. Oh, I see. Yeah, cool. Okay. Very good. Well, um, let's see. If you guys can make it tomorrow, Athena, will, will you be able to make it tomorrow? I think so. Think so? Okay. Um, well, hopefully one of your... Uh, one of your partners would, would show up tomorrow and, and we can get you, you know, working with them. Um, so the more we can get together before the uh, actual competition, the better. So yeah, if you can make it, that would be great. Um, and Ben, of course, the more you can make it, the, the more different things you can kind of check out and talk to people about. Yep. All right, very good. Uh, so I'll, um, the meeting's going to end in a few minutes. I'll get everybody together before it before it ends. Um, but uh, yeah, any questions right now? No, nope. I don't think so. Okay, all right. I'll catch you guys later then in a few minutes. All right, thanks. Okay, bye bye. Good one. All right, Emma and Noah in food science. How are you guys? How's it going? Good. I just have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So when I was doing my, um, so I was looking at the um, answer key for the test mm -hmm. uh, for the um, Harvard competition. Yeah. And I saw it said something about like um, chocolate being a he um, uh, heterolactic fermentation. But I saw it in other research that it's acetic and alcoholic. Mm. Which one is it? <laughs> oh boy you are outside of my areas of uh knowledge and expertise so i don't know um the majority of sources i see are acetic alcoholic so i'm just going to say that okay um acetic alcoholic I'm trying to think how those would so it's it so chocolate you know um most like all things we eat really is, is a long organic molecule. Um, so we might be able to tell by its structure. Let's see. All right. Theobromine, what is that? Chemistry of chocolate, this might be good, okay. Oh, maybe not. Um, hmm, yeah, okay, I guess that is it. Uh, I'm not sharing my screen, am I? So let me do that. Okay. So molecular structure of chocolate. Yeah, I knew they were close. I didn't know it was called theobromine, but um, chocolate and caffeine are, are quite close in, in structure. Uh, in order for something to be an alcohol, um, it would have an OH uh, branch on it. and it doesn't look like chocolate does, but that doesn't mean it's not not an alcohol. Let's see. Um, chocolate uh, acidic alcohol. Well, that's not going to do it. So um, I think that 
maybe the, a better approach, Emma, is to um, take a look at the, the source, the different sources that you have, and, and we can decide which ones are more reliably, uh, what one's more likely to be right. In other words, which are more reliable. Um, so what sources have you found that, that say that it's uh, an acidic alcohol? I don't remember the names off the top of my head, but I saw like all of them be like reliable. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, if you're finding things that have really obscure names in their, in their internet addresses, um, that's usually a sign that people don't really know what they're talking about, you know? Um, so, uh, it, but if you're getting something from, you know, scientific organizations or whatever, then um, you can pretty much count on it. Um, anyway, I just realized it's about uh, the, the uh, session's about to end. So I'm gonna try closing the breakout rooms and bringing everybody back together. Okay, uh, we probably only have a few seconds left. Um, do you guys want to uh, me to restart the meeting, or should we leave it today and, and meet again tomorrow? I mean, I think either. I'm fine for today. Same here. Same here. I'm pretty good for today too. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. So we'll let it end in a couple minutes. Uh, thanks everybody for showing up and keep up the great work. And uh, just a few short weeks until the competition. Um, so it's good to good to see everybody putting in the good effort. Um, yeah, and and again, if you can show up tomorrow, uh, please do because I know a lot of you did not get to meet with uh, partners today. Um, so hopefully uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna send a, a few key people uh, who I haven't seen much of lately um, an email and hopefully get them to to join in. All right. Um, so anybody have anything quick before it ends? Okay. Um, enjoy the rest of the afternoon and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye everyone. Thank you.